entwässerter, entwässerter und zentrifugierter Schlamm, aber nicht getrocknet. This is the end of, of the whole process. It, it's uh, um, it's uh, clean uh, without water content. The the sludge basically without water. The dewatered. The dewatered sludge. Mm. But and it's, it's not dried. Yeah. It's, it's not dried, but it's it's dewatered. The trimatter content in this is, is um, uh, 30%, so there's still 70% of the mass is water. And the normal belebt schlamm, with which we work, has 3 to 5% trimatter. And the normal sludge has three to five percent uh, content, and the rest is water. Mm. Yeah. So it's basically enriched sludge. Mm -hmm. yeah, this macht man vor allem um die Transportkosten yeah. zu reduzieren. This is mainly to reduce transport costs because you need to pay for weight, and if you take out the water, you have less less uh, costs in logistics. Where does this go? A deposit. This will be deposit. So, for our micro, are you selling this? No, this is not what no. they sell, this is what they depose. They need that's to that's the normal way, that's dispose. not the phosphor extraction. Does not go to the, uh, to the garden? No, no that's no, not allowed in Germany. That's not, not, not allowed because, uh, being no, not because it is rich in heavy metals. Ah. Um, you cannot, uh, you dispose it to a uh, special site. But it, it, you reduced a lot the volume and the weight and took everything out of value already out of it. Mm -hmm. Why don't you take all the heavy metals away or from it? Warum nimmt man die Schwermetalle nicht raus? Also erstens mal ist es sehr schwierig, das heißt nicht sonst Schwermetall, das ist halt unlöslich. Und ja. jetzt die ja. raus. Äh, und dann hier auch, das ist ja das, was man in dieser vierten Reinigung Wir sind auch alle Medikamentenrückstände mit drin, hormonaktive Substanzen ah, und die ja. ganzen Sachen, die sich nicht abbauen, Mikroplastik, alles, was so in der normale Abwasserreinigung nicht abgebaut wird. Also in, in this compartment is, is a lot of difficult substances. The heavy metals are difficult to, to take out. And there's also from medic. Ah, da sind ein bisschen So is that a problem? No, no, this is from the center fruit. Uh -huh. After a while it, it plugs up and then uh -huh. they... they, they um, backwash. They backwash, yes. Ah, so it's a normal process, it is it's backwashed. Process, okay, yes. understand. Okay. And um, yeah, there are also the, the residues from, from medicaments, from, from, uh, from uh, people taking mm -hmm. me medicaments will all concentrate in it's still in here so there are many problematic substances that are di difficult to take out oh. and also the, and because you already took out the parts that have value like the phosphate and the nitrate there's not much of value in here so it will be dead so f pharmaceuticals so yeah. the what is that medicine mm. yeah medicine mm. medicine oh. like hormones antibiotics hormones yeah. okay yeah. Oh, got it so then this after the deposit, what it's like, you just landfill this? Landfill, yeah. It's a special art, so there are rules, they have to be water-dicht deponied, and the water has to be taken to this deponied. It's a certain type of landfill that needs to be uh, sealed from the underground, mm -hmm. and it needs to be sealed from uh, rainwater as well. Yeah, right. So it's a certain type of landfill. Das, das oh, and like, the Zinsland, where do they send it? Like, like, where is that land? Mm -hmm. It's here around the region, or they have to take it really far. It's in Kaiserslautern where we're going later. Ah, okay. I weiß nicht, ob das dorthin kommen darf. Da gibt's ja zig Kategorien und Zulassungen. Can this one be incinerated? Can this verbrannt werden? Dann ist die Asche übrig. Then you have the ash, and the ash still has those components. This is 70% water. That must go out. This is 70% water that needs to go go out. And then 30% to burn it would be to reduce it. And then you still have the ash. But then you still have the rest in the ash. So, so you have to put in a lot of energy to evaporate all the water out of it. 
the, then you reduce the um, the mass, but not necessarily much the the volume. And then when you burn it, you lose only 10 to 20 percent of the volume, and it's high energy intensive. So that, that, that's not that much. They are not worried about the last quantity to to reduce. Okay. So they, they just bury it somewhere in a landfill. It's in a container. It's sealed, and there's no water going to it. Nothing like it's basically like atomic waste. Ah, uh, like Never atomic waste. Condition. They protect it somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Store away for the next generation. To for the next generation <laughs> to think about <laughs> what to do with it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> Phosphorus recovering plant. This is the first step. This is a high uh, load digestion, like a fermentation in this in this part. Genau, wir haben die Hälfte der Verweilzeit von einer normalen Biogasanlage, die liegt ja so bei 20 Tagen, hier sind wir bei 10. It's, it's about half the time of the normal uh, biodigester, which is around 20 year, days, or, and this only has 10 days. Und hier wird uh, ein Teil der Zellen, also zum einen produzieren wir natürlich uh, Gas, Klärgas, Biogas. They produce Biogas in this. Das dann hier energetisch genutzt wird zum Heizen und uh, zum Strom. They use it locally for, to produce energy, electrical energy and, and heat. Und uh, hier wird ein Teil der Zellen, uh, der, der, der ursprünglichen Pflanzenzellen, die ja beim Wachsen den Phosphor auf den elementaren Phosphor, das ja. Innere, und ein Teil der Zellen wird hier schon abgebaut. They, they, uh, also some of the cells that included the phosphor in themselves. They, they, uh, Pflanzen beim Wachstum. Die werden, werden hier aufgeschlossen oder? Ja, bei der, beim Abbau, bei einer Fermentation, bei einem anaeroben Abbau, wenn ihr die Zellen verarbeitet, ne, wenn genau, man jetzt eine Gurke beißt, kommt ja keine Gurke mehr raus, sondern halt so. Teil of it. Also, a part, a part, part of, of the Phosphor. Wir haben zwei, es gibt grundsätzlich zwei Arten von Phosphor. Das eine nennt man den bio P, den Biophosphor. Das ist der, der in den Zellen gebunden ist. They, they have two types of Phosphor. They have Biophosphor, they call it. Which is the uh, phosphor that was was taken up by by cells by by uh, was inside of the plant cells yeah. during the growing phosphor. process. The phosphor. Das sind aber einzelne, oder? Nein, die, die Pflanzenzellen. Wenn wir jetzt eine Karotte essen, yeah. dann hat die Karottenpflanze beim Wachstum Phosphor auf. Das ist ja ein ja. Element Phosphor. Und, und, die, und die, die wir essen, und die, die Karotte und das. Raus. Ja, natürlich. Ah, okay. ja, <lacht> die sind ja nicht, wir bauen nur einen Teil, wir bauen nur einen Teil ab, ab, einen Teil ab genau. aber Phosphor an sich ist ja ein, ein chemisches Element, das kann ja nicht mehr weiter abgebaut werden. Ja, ja. Das kann sich nur mit irgendwas anderem wieder verbinden, ja. aber das kann ja nicht mehr weiter abgebaut werden. Ja. Das heißt, wir scheiden das die normalen Elemente wie Stickstoff, Kohlenstoff, Phosphor, die wir aufnehmen, die scheiden wir auch wieder aus. Aber das sind ja nicht nur Pflanzen, das sind auch, wenn ich ein, wenn ich ein Steak esse, das sind ja auch Genau, ja, aber das war vorher auch eine Pflanzenzelle, weil das Steak war mal eine Kuh und die Kuh hat da halt die Pflanze gegessen. Okay. Also im Endeffekt, deswegen braucht man Phosphor als Dünger grundsätzlich braucht. Zur Zellbildung ist halt einfach so ein chemische Elemente notwendig. Ja. Ein ja. Element ist halt Phosphor, ja. ohne dessen findet kein Zellwachstum statt und damit ja. kein Pflanzenwachstum und damit auch kein so, ja. äh, Wachstum von, von uns. Ne, wenn ja. wir, äh, und dieses, diese Pflanzenzellen am Schluss sind im, im Klärschlamm enthalten. Weil ja. egal, jedes Tier, jeder Mensch, alles, was wir mal ja. aufgenommen haben, geht wieder raus und landet am Ende so. hier. Okay, warte, ich, ich übersetze das mal. So, every cell contains phosphor. Like everything we eat contains phosphor. Every Every cell, if, it, every if it's a, a carrot, every leaf, every salad, contains phosphor. And um, so when we uh, dispose of it, like the solid human waste that goes to the toilet, contains phosphor in it. And then it's uh, in the process, in this, in this process it will be vitalized, it will be taken up by other bacteria. And, and at a certain point of time it lands here. And then it, it partly is released, also the entire is, is uh, then quasi uh, part a, is a part, part is broken down, 
and released and taken out of the process. Yeah, because during the... Yeah, no. Um, this is the BOP. That, that's, that's, a, that, that's the component of the biological phosphor that, that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Genau, und der danach, das passiert nicht alles, also nicht alle Zellen werden fermentativ aufgeschlossen. Und danach gehen wir in ein äh, thermochemisches Verfahren, so. also mit Druck und Temperatur. So, so not all the cells, uh, the cells basically need to be ripped apart to get the phosphor out. Mm -hmm. And not all the cells will be in this biological digestion will be opened. So part of them they go in the second process, the, the remaining part in the second process, which they, they work with temperature and pressure to rip them open as well. Danach haben wir praktisch alle oder einen Großteil der, der Zellen aufgeschlossen. Uh, afterwards they, they have basically opened up most of the cells and can take, take out. Und damit ist der Phosphor in Lösung. And the phosphor is, 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 is uh, soft in the solution, yes. Und äh, der zweite Phosphor-Part, äh, äh, der im Klärstamm vorkommt, ist der äh, elementarer chemischer Phosphor, der nicht in den Zellen gebunden ist, sondern der sich vorher zum Teil schon gelöst hat. Der ja. halt als durchgebliebener Dünger auf dem Land war, der sich aus dem Boden gelöst hat. Phosphor ja. kommt ja in der, in der Erde auch vor als Element. Ja. Und das ist der Phosphor, der elementar äh, als gefällter Phosphor ja. im Schlamm schwimmt. Und den müssen wir auch in Lösung bringen. Ja. Das passiert dann im dritten. And, and the part of the phosphor that was not bi in the biology, in the cells, the, that was basically is elemental phosphor, which was in the ground. Like you, when you put fertilizer on the ground, not everything gets taken up by the plants. And then the rain washes it, it to the canal and then it lands here as well. And this elemental phosphor, which is not in a solution, it it's, uh, needs to be solved in the a, in a third stage. Und das machen wir über den pH-Wert. And they do it about the, um, the pH, the acidity. Wir heben den pH-Wert an, auf circa einen Wert von 9. They, they raise the pH to 9. Mit Natron laufen wir. With Natron... Uh, sodium Hydroxide. Sodium Hydroxide, thanks. <laughs> I googled all the words, smash the vocabulary. So how much phosphorus do you get by one cubic meter of water? Wie viel Phosphor kriegt man aus einem Kubikmeter Wasser? Also wir bekommen, äh, ich mache einmal den Prozess zu Ende, weil wir bekommen keinen reinen Phosphor raus. Äh, hey, he, he finish the process and then they, they don't get weil wir unter only Phosphor, they get a mix. Ja, wir haben nur einen. Doch, weil wir unterzeichnet sind, können wir diese technischen Dinge, glaube ich, nicht wirklich so gut verstehen. Deswegen ja. würde ich kompakter zusammenfassen und schneller durchgehen. Ja, okay. Weil die, Yeah, she, she wants to be a little bit faster because we are on a time frame. Yeah, yeah. We can discuss this later in the bus. I know I have any questions. Yeah, all right. Second is And uh, we add some chemicals, uh, in this case, mag magnesium chloride to the process. And after that, the um, nitrogen uh, uh, um, and the phosphorus crys uh, uh, build crystals together. Uh, with the magnesium chloride, and we call it the MAP, it's magnesium ammonium phosphate. Ooh. That's it, looks like sand. The wow. Wow, special cool. part here is to let the crystals grow on a size so that you can take it out with, with a sand washing system. You have in wastewater treatment plants. You have systems to wash, so you, can, like you can take it. Yeah. Yeah. But here are <laughs> the most like elements, <laughs> nitrogen and phosphorus bounded, and that's around 60% 60, around 60 of the elemental phosphorus that comes here, we can take out. It's about 200 to 250 tons per year of that. That's what you get by year. That's what we get per year. And it's a high concentrated, a high potential where, fertilizer. Where do you so you sell again. You take it to the garden. You can take it to the garden or to the, to the agriculture. It's a fertilizer. So you sell it as a fertilizer? We or sell as it a, as a fertilizer. So so we want to sell it. Because in Germany it's complicated. Okay. You, you, if you produce a fertilizer, there's a, you need okay. a special permission. Okay. So we work on the permission to uh, start selling. Have a fertilizer. Ah, you are not selling. Uh, we start selling. No, we are don't, it's not enough uh, to have a, a big. <laughs> Mm, okay. um, 
selling organization. Okay. Yeah, every ground count. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you, you, so you, you don't have enough. You don't have enough. Yeah. Otherwise, wastewater treatment plants and put.